Here you'll find your alert settings. Where do you want to send your alerts for performance budgets? Uh, do you want to send those to an email? Do you want to send those to a Slack channel? Both of those things can be defined here. You can see we've already set up uh, an email here. Uh, pretty easy, put in my email, say the test this email, the email's been sent, everything's working. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, another thing that you can do is add in webhooks. So this is kind of uh, great if you're using things like Slack or uh, Teams or other different channels where you want to be able to send alerts to, um, small updates around performance budgets, changes, things like that. You simply just go ahead and add in uh, the webhook like we've done here and say test and see that the payload was sent successfully and then you say add. Now I've got the ability to send performance budget alerts to both a Slack channel uh, as well as to myself. Uh, both of those can be configured when you're creating your favorites dashboards and setting those budgets and reports up. That's how you go ahead and message alerts to people. The next thing we'll talk about very quickly um, are notes. You can get notes a few different ways. If you do a deployment, you can go ahead and add a note, which will annotate that on a timeline. Um, you can click directly on a time series chart and say add note, um, or you can do it from right here. Uh, if I want to go ahead and view notes, I can see, okay, here's the last note that was uh, was given through a deployment um, and we can see that I've left some notes about the build number there. Uh, if you click on that, you can actually see the details of that notes, the exact time that it happened, um, any other um, uh, information about that note or what was going on at that time. And you can go ahead and save that. You can also delete these notes if you don't want them showing up on your timeline anymore or if there was something that was uh, a mistake or that you just want uh, to be omitted. Um, you can go ahead and add a new note directly from this area. I'm just going to say add note. Um, I'm going to apply this to just my Tesla site. Um, this is today. It's, uh, well, right now it's uh, 201. I want to go ahead and create this note. Um, I can do a short note here and I can say testing awesome perf fix. And here I can say I optimized uh, my images and lazy loaded below the fold images, uh, something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and say add. Now I can actually see this will show up on my timeline um, for my Tesla site. You can see that this wasn't related to a deploy. Um, however, that note still will be annotated. That is setting up emails and managing your notes from within your site.